Yo, 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 what's up guys, American Mexican Gunslinger. Today we're not going to talk about, you know, health issues and benefits. Today we're going to talk about the gun industry, you guys. The gun industry. You know, there's going to be a lot of gun industry and companies being like, I'm not, never sending that fool a weapon. I'm never sending that fool one of our products. I don't care, I'll probably end up buying it anyways. <laughs> anyways, you guys, today we're going to talk about the gun industry. Look, guys, the gun industry is a big industry. It it makes it produces all types of firearms, good, bad, ugly, pretty, nice, rich. All these types of firearms, you guys. And you know, a lot of people cannot afford certain firearms, you know what I'm saying? So it's like six hour makes the products you know yeah they you know you know those normal products you know what i'm saying the budget line products like the 365 that's like 500 bucks and then you go with the x macro which is like almost a thousand dollars like come on bro like really wh why are you making handguns that cost a thousand dollars you i mean i guess your consumer like baseline is like you know higher tier people who can afford them of course you got your regular 365 you can't afford a thousand dollar one buy the 500 dollar one you know what i'm saying i know i know what you guys are doing bro i know what you guys are doing same thing with ar-15s like a daniel defense two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars like who has two thousand two hundred fifty dollars laying around for an ar when you can build one for the fraction of the cost that does the same thing it just look Here's the thing. I'm going to make a lot of Second Amendment enthusiasts get mad, but all they go is bang. All they go is boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> that's all they do. That's all these tools do. They just make loud noise, and that's it. Unless you have a suppressor, which don't get me started on suppressors because... They're expensive as hell, too. They're expensive. And guess what? And you have to buy a $200 tax stamp on top of that. And you have to wait for them to be like, okay, you're approved. Come pick it up. Which it shouldn't be a thing, you guys. It shouldn't be a thing. But that's how they these companies make their money. That's how they're still in business. Because someone's still buying them. Someone can still afford them. Not majority of people can afford these products or they don't want to necessarily buy these products, NFA items, because, you know, they think they're giving up their amendment rights, which in, in some way they kind of are, you guys. You guys are giving them more information about you and a lot of people don't want to do that. But besides that, you know, a lot of these com gun companies make new products, make new guns every single year, you guys. And here's the thing, though, that these products, sometimes they're not good. Sometimes they'd be, like, bad. Like, when the first 365 came out, you know, it, it was having firing pin issues. You know, um, it would drop by, when they would drop, they would, they would go off. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are major issues that people don't want to talk about. Because they're dedicated to this brand. They're de dedicated to this product. They don't want to how you say demonize a company like when i demonized faxon for their barrel that they made that wouldn't chamber properly you know i i finally did get my refund back my full refund they paid for shipping and everything it's really great it's really awesome you know but what wasn't awesome is that i bought a product thinking that it was going to work and it didn't you guys and that's what i'm afraid of for majority of the times like i own an hk usp 45 you know, hold on, hold on a sec. You know, you know, right here, my HK USP 45, you know, and this firearm has KF in it, this little KF right there. I don't know if you can see it, but KF. And that's, that, this gun was made in 1995, you guys. This is 25 years old plus, probably longer than that. But it works like a champ. And if you guys are are wondering, it's not loaded, you guys. It's not loaded. It's not chambered. But you guys, like, this is gun is 25 years old, and it works perfectly fine. And guess what? I did not buy, buy it new. I bought it used, guys. 
I bought it for 450 bucks. I didn't buy a thousand. I didn't pay a thousand dollars for it. I paid 450 for it, you guys. As much as a new Glock costs, and it works way better than a Glock. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you guys, like, come on. If you guys are gonna buy firearms, buy ones that already work phenomenal. Don't be buying the new things. Like I heard the new Gen 5 Glock 10 or the the 40s, the Glock 20s actually, the Glock 20s that had major issues, the Gen 5s, they had major issues feeding different types of 10 millimeter rounds. And that is a problem, guys, that is a problem. If they're making new firearms that don't work as the old ones, what are you paying for exactly? You know what I'm saying? You know, that's another company I'm probably roasting, but... I'm just saying, like, like guys, don't be spending your cash on weapons that are n not going to work in the end. You know, like, there's Sky. You know, th their handguns are pretty cruddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've never owned one, but I've heard a lot of horror stories about them. You know what I'm saying? And I've heard horror stories on the new PSA daggers. Even though they're a great company, I'm not going to so much because i own a little bit of their products but like their new psa daggers they had a lot of problems guys their triggers weren't resetting and there's a lot of horror stories on them too sig sour with their with their guns going off by themselves supposedly you know that is pretty bad you guys like these new tools need to be made properly and they need to be tested like like i my hk usp was viciously tested you guys viciously tested and i feel like companies should do that i'm not saying that hk because hk is pretty like anti like civil for civilians owning their weapons and stuff that's why they don't make like the g36 for civilian use even though they have their sl8s and stuff they're all neutered guns but like people need to understand that if there's a new product coming out with a company that you really love wait just wait give it a give it a year give it a year and be like okay because some people just buy these weapons like like that like that like when the when this when the springfield hellcat came out and the first week it was out i went to go buy it. i saw the springfield armory commercial on the hellcat and i was like oh i want that the world's smallest nine millimeter i want that and I went to go get it, and then like a few a few months later, optic ready, because mine wasn't optic ready. And I'm like, son of a... Like, I could have waited a little longer and got an optic... I mean, it's a great handgun. It was stupid reliable. I'm not going to lie. The Hellcats are stupid reliable. I haven't seen anyone talk about malfunctions on the handgun. If yours does, then you probably have bad luck or something because majority of people have really good expectations and high expectations when it comes to that firearm but anyways yeah i know what you guys are gonna say springfield armory is anti-gun and all that hey why are they making weapons you know what i'm saying but anyways you guys like be careful when you're buying these products guys be careful when they're first coming out wait let the other monkeys in the science lab do the test runs on it and experiment on them. And then you'll be like, hmm, at least I wasn't that dumb monkey who bought that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just putting it out there. Don't be the lab rat, you guys, because majority of these companies do experiment on their customers. And I hate that. I hate the fact that they have to do that in order for them to be like, oh, I got to fix this. I got to fix that. Why didn't you guys do that in the first place? If, if any company out there is willing to send me a product, Please do so. I will run that thing to the ground if I have the ammo. Because the ammo is expensive. And talk is cheap. <laughs> Grand thumb. Anyways, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. That was my rant. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. I'm out. Peace.